time for another grocery haul, doggy style. So I went to Healthy Spot and I went a little crazy. So let me show you what I got. Oh, food. Start with freeze dried and raw. Ooh. So first up is Grandma Lucy's. It has freeze dried in there. It is grain free. And this is their Meccano line that's a pinto and hemp base really good ingredients here. Fred loves the salmon. I make a little surf and turf for him with his frozen primal. I top it off with this. Ethel, she does the freeze-dried primal. They both have their nice raw diet working for them. For Fred, he really needs the high fiber, so mixing the Grandma Lucy's Makana with the primal really works out for him. Ethel, I wish she would eat the frozen, but she just doesn't like the texture. But it's okay, she's still a primal girl. Next, we got our supplements. These seniors need their supplements, and even young dogs need supplements. So first I have the Mind Body and Bowl Hemp Oil. I use this every single day for my dogs, twice a day. Um, they get seizures, they have just a lot of issues now that they're older, and this really, really, really helps. And I also am going to be trying this out. I have never tried it before, Earth Animal Vital Eye. It's a daily eye support supplement. Um, Ethel is blind. I noticed that she paws at her eyes sometimes and wonder if there's a lot of pressure there for her. And we think Fred is starting to lose his eyesight now, so we're going to give this a try. Now, the frozen supplements. These are staples in this household. I love getting the bone broth for them. Ethel, she loves bone broth. She likes goat's milk, but she digs the bone broth. And this is the Healthy Spot brand bone broth. Really great organic ingredients and some things like turmeric too. It's really good for joint support and their immunity and their gut health. And then I also do the answers, goat's milk, and sometimes I do the primal too. I switch it up. Really great probiotic, really boosts their immunity, good for their skin and coat, and it's delicious and a great way to hydrate your food. So Fred's favorite, the earth animal, no hide, and I got him a good one. Look at all that meat on there. He loves the salmon one. And then I got this for Ethel, a Play-Doh Salmon Thinker. It's like a doggy Slim Jim, and it's perfect for her because she doesn't have all her teeth, so she can handle this, and she loves it. And then I get this. This is actually made for cats. It's a tuna filet. Um, but sometimes when they get sick, and I can't get them to eat, or maybe like food is just too, too much for them, I just give this a little supplemental kind of thing, a little treat, a little topper. Um, I've noticed a big difference, you know, in those moments. So I always have this on hand just in case um, Ethel can't do the salmon and rice. Sometimes it's a little too much for her, so this is great. And I lost my mind, and I got this freaking huge Jackson Bones bed. Oh, it is so soft and luxurious. Oh, they love it. Fred likes to go right here in the little cracks. Ethel likes to be on the big pillow part. Oh, you guys, they love it. All right. Oh, yeah. These dogs are living their best life. And only the best for them. You know, they're only here for a short amount of time. And all these things that I got them, I try to keep it healthy. And this is a really good chew for Fred, too, because it keeps him stimulated. He's pretty high energy for him. Well, look who found the no hide chew. Fred came out here to get some sun, and Ethel found this and she claimed it. Sorry, Fred. And this is great for her. Um, Ethel, again, doesn't have all her teeth, but she likes to lick it and just, you know, it keeps her stimulated, which is awesome. Fred's not happy about it, though.